Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Langston. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we're gonna to be comparing three different printable heat transfer vinyls. Now these are ones we've all used before and we do like them all. So which is the best? Which prints the best, which cuts the best, which has the best color. Uh, we'll be answering all those questions and more today, so definitely stay tuned for this incredible video. Before we do jump in, I want to mention it is completely free for you guys to subscribe down below. It takes two seconds and it really makes a huge difference and we can't thank you enough for all of you that have subscribed. Be sure to ring that bell to get notified so you don't miss content like this in the future. Okay, as far as supplies go, they're relatively minimal where we are comparing three. Of course, we're using a bit more supplies, but if you like one of these and you pick one to use, then of course omit the other two uh, printable HTV options, but we have our Cricut. Today we're using our Explore 3. To actually print, then cut, you do need a printer, so we're using our Canon Pixma printer. We've used a lot of Canon Pixma printers. We do love them all, so make sure that you have a good inkjet printer. Um, also, one with a rear loading tray is very important. It really helps with some odd um, feeling materials, if that makes any sense. Sometimes it's a bit picky with the paper, so if you have a rear loading tray, that really helps. Uh, and then we have our easy press. Now you can use a heat press or as an easy press. You can use an easy press mini. Today we're using the 10 by 12 easy press. Uh, now some of these materials don't love to stick on the mat, so we are using a strong grip mat today. We have a easy press mat, a t-shirt, and then a Teflon sheet, or you can use parchment paper or butcher's paper. We will be using a couple of miscellaneous Cricut tools. And for the main event, the materials we are comparing today, they are new fun. Caesar Easy Color and HTV Ront are the brands that we are comparing today. Now we have used all of these in the past, but it's gonna be fun to compare them all in one video. To save us some time, I have already printed and cut these out, but I will let you know that the Caesar Easy Color was the one that least wanted to stick on the mat, so you really had to use a strong mat and bray it down really well. Uh, same for the HTV Ront, it didn't stick down really, really well, but the new fun did. Uh, now that's not a testament to the quality, that's just the way that the material was made. All of these should be printed on the plain paper setting with best quality chosen on your uh, device. Now if you don't know how to do that, I will link a video of Miss Becca sharing a bunch of incredible ways that you can kind of up the quality of your print and cut project. So it's a great video, definitely check it out. Now let's start comparing these printable iron-ons. Okay, now for a close-up of the products. I'm not sure why, but the Caesar Easy Color did not have like a label front to it or anything like that. So it's just like in a bag. And then here is the uh, labels for the new fun uh, printable transfer and the HTV Ront. Now we have discussed this before. They are for dark fabrics. And the only difference between the ones for dark fabrics and light fabrics is that the ones for dark fabrics are white paper, where the ones for light fabrics are clear paper. So these can be used with any color and we're gonna be using it on like a heather gray shirt. So this will be a good comparison. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my easy press mat and my shirt here. And I'm just gonna remove some wrinkles from our shirt for us. And we have our um, Teflon sheet close by. Uh, so here is the HTV Raw one right here. Here is the Caesar Easy Color. And here is the New Fun. Now I can tell because New Fun always has these blue lines. Uh, the Caesar Easy Color doesn't have any lines at all. And then this one actually is labeled on the back, which helps us out. So here is all three of them as they're printed, so you can kind of see the difference there. New Fun is considerably lighter in color, but we do know that New Fun is the one that kind of makes the colors vibrant when the heat is placed on it. So we're not uh, going to like make that a tally mark against it. We're going to wait till the end. This one is the darkest, which is the HTV Ront. So we'll go ahead and remove all of these from the backing. And when I do remove these from the backing, it's gonna be much harder to tell which is which brand. So I'm gonna lay them in a strategic order or you can put like a sticky note next to them or something like that to help, help you label them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll get to placing all of these. When you remove printable heat transfer vinyl like this from the paper, it is a bit uh, bendy. So just be careful not to stretch it out too much. Now this was our new fun. 
This is our HTV roll, and guys, I literally ripped it right after I told you guys to be easy with it. Uh, but I'm not gonna reprint cut this out because, again, this is just a comparison video for quality, and that little rip is not gonna um, like be, you know, detrimental to the whole process. So I'm gonna leave it there. But do as I say, not as I do, and be careful with your material. This is the HTV raw again. So place that where you can remember. And last but not least is the Caesar Easy Color. And that one's backing is like see-through. That was interesting. Okay, now on my laptop, I do have a couple of things written down for these that will uh, help you. So for the HTV Ront, uh, it is recommended that your heat press or easy press be on 320 to 338 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 to 12 seconds. So I have mine set to 325 degrees for 12 seconds. So I kind of like met in the middle with the degrees there. As far as the Caesar Easy Color goes, that one should be on 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 35 seconds. So I will up the temperature and uh, switch it to probably 30 seconds, again, meeting in the middle there. And then for the new fun, it says iron on cotton setting, on the highest cotton setting. So it's talking about the highest cotton setting on a household iron, which I looked up and it was around 400 degrees. And here's where it gets a little dicey. We, we will turn our heat press to 400 degrees, but it wants us to heat this for two minutes. I think that that's gonna burn this, but again, I am doing what the direction said. It said a household iron on the highest cotton setting, which everything I Googled said that was around 380 to 400 degrees. So let's start out with our HTV Ront once again, set to 325 for 12 seconds. I'm gonna place our HTV Ront down. Just like that and I'm gonna try and space these far apart to where when I go back and um, we can compare these I haven't like double hit one of them with the easy press so I'm gonna place that there place our Teflon sheet place our heat press down and press our Cricut button and there is the first one right after it is been heated it looks great and our Easy Press is already preheated to the Caesar Easy Color setting, which is 340 degrees. And we're going to be placing this down for 30 seconds. And I'm going to be super intentional not to heat up this design. So you're going to take your Easy Press, place it down, and press your button. And here was this one pressed. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to do our last one, which is our new fun, which we have done in the past a lot. And this one is on 400 degrees again for two minutes. I think this is going to burn this. And the way that we have been doing it was about 315 to 320 degrees for like 20 to 30 seconds before we like quote unquote knew the instructions. But I think we tweaked it well because again, 400 degrees for two minutes sounds outrageous to me. So just to be honest with you guys, I set my Cricut to 400 degrees for 60 seconds and I'll most likely stop it at 60 and see where we are because I just don't see the point in absolutely frying this shirt. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I think there's a lot of room for error in household irons. So doing the math just from like the household iron general uh, assumed degree of 400 on a highest cotton setting is not what a controlled created for crafting heat press would be at 400 degrees. I think it's gonna be much, much hotter. So again, we'll see after about a minute, but here we go. I'm gonna place our Teflon down again, making sure not to heat up our uh, above layer. And I'm gonna place this down. And personally, I do not see the need in heating this for another minute. Um, again, that is gonna be a personal call I'm gonna make. You can, um, you can if you want to, but I recommend not heating this for two minutes. I think that is way overkill with a press that's been designed for crafting um, next to a household iron. So I'm just going to leave that and let that cool. Okay, let's talk about what I see here. Um, now, again, you guys are going to have to trust me a little bit because I can see this in person. Number one, this is a 100% cotton shirt, and I can already tell that some of my shirt is a little bit fried down here. Um, again, that's because of that new fun. So what I would do is what we've been doing, which is about 315 to 330 degrees for like 20 seconds. That is what I would do on this. 
I think they really, as a company, as a brand, need to update their instructions for Cricut users or heat press users. So this one is a little bit getting discolored around it. This one is by far like the darkest and deepest. However, it's not true to color. So I do have to knock off some points for this one, which the middle one is Caesar Easy Color. Now again, we followed all the specific directions for these as well. Um, this top one, this HTV Ront, it's the thickest of them all. But in my opinion, it looks the clearest and the most crisp as far as uh, being true to color and the um, overall design, how it transferred. I think this one uh, looks looks the best, but again, it is the thickest, so that that, that is something to say. Uh, this one, you can feel a little bit less, and the new phone, you can barely feel at all, but I think that's due to just the temperature and time that it was heated. Now, let's talk about prices. So, the Caesar Easy Color, which the Caesar Easy Color is going to be the one in this middle here. The Caesar Easy Color is... $25, around $25, I'm going to say around because Amazon prices are subject to change. It's around $25 for 10 sheets of the Caesar Easy Color. That's a little bit steep. Now for New Fun, which is the bottom here, which is the one that we've used the most, it's like a fine brand, honestly. You get 25 sheets for around $22, which I think is a decent price for that. For the HTV Ront, which is the top one, it's around $17 for 20 sheets. I will link all of these down below for you, as well as the other uh, supplies we have used today. Picking a favorite is really hard because this one looks the best, however, it's the thickest. This one we've used a lot. I would give this one second place. I do think that this one just doesn't look amazing transferred, in my opinion. Uh, now again, all of these were matte materials, so these were not like glossy, they're matte. That being said, I don't hate any of them, uh, but I think the easiest one to use and the one that will give you the best uh, outcome is this one up here, which is the HTV Ront. So we have the HTV Ront, the Caesar Easy Color, and New Fun. All of the washing and care instructions are the same for these, which is to wash inside out uh, in cold water with a mild detergent and either tumble dry on low or air dry preferred. What did you guys think of these amazing printable heat transfer vinyls? I love being able to work with products that we've used in the past and some products that we have recently found and then compare them to see which we like best. I love videos like this. If you want to see a video about which of these held up in the wash, definitely comment down below. Let us know if you want to see that. We can make a video after testing them in uh, different cycles after over weeks and things like that. So definitely let us know if that's something that you're interested in. I also want to take a minute to let you guys know you can join Oak and Lamb for only $9.99 for your very first month by clicking the link down below. Not only do we have hundreds of cut files that we add to every single month, but all those files come with a free commercial use license. We also have free courses and a member-only Facebook group, which is an incredible community and some of our members' a favorite part of membership. Definitely let us know if you have any questions, but we would love to welcome you as a member of our flock today. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys another day for another video.